Hi everybody, it's Rob and we've got to video number three on the Pinterest training and this next one is going to start as an overview of when to use Pinterest. In other words, what type of product and service, okay? So let me open it up for you and by the way, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But firstly, uh, uh, this one, this is what I love, research. Then do some research and when you finish, do some research. On my fibromyalgia club training, there is a lot of research training on niches, on keywords. I suggest that if you're really serious about this, that you go ahead and look into that. I'm not going to get too hectically into this. Let me just open all of these so to scare you a little bit and try to cover it in, in a fairly quick video because you don't need me to go on and on and on about this. So use your noggin obviously bad niche ideas are things that aren't visual in other words things that aren't going to be seen if you're a steel supplier um if you're a dog walker nobody's really going to you're not going to get business from being a dog walker um through pinterest if you did a dog walking course uh yes that's different so you need to understand that pinterest is international um, it's a lot of people using Pinterest as a search engine. I don't know yet if I've mentioned it. I think I did. Pinterest is a visual search engine. It's an image related search engine and it's brilliant for marketing. So when you're thinking of what your niche or whatever should be, know that it must be something that people will click and follow on. And a little bit of research will teach you that. Now, I'm going to go through some here for you in a second. Um, Possibly the best thing to do is simply go onto Pinterest and, and, and literally sail around it for an hour or three and you will start to get a feel for it. Um, I do suggest part of my research, so where I casually just tell you research, see my full training on niche research, see my full training on keywords, see full training, okay, below I go into the Pinterest, um, on how to research it. Uh, the simplest way though, to be very honest, if you want to look at a quick version is write down your 10 favorite things you want to do in life and then put those things into a sort of keyword thing so let's just say you love cooking well cooking is a keyword and then go to Pinterest throw cooking in there and have a look if it comes up with a lot of stuff and it would and then think of where you're gonna come out at the other end how will you make money from cooking um, so th this is where it starts to become a little bit of a gremlin. You need to know that you've got an end product that you can sell. And incidentally, all of that is on this niche training. So you can do affiliate marketing. You can do a bunch of, it's all in here. Let me show you. So preferably it must be visual appealing and it must target women more than men, which is pretty sad that it's true, but it's the way it is. Um, I highly suggest that, you're, that you self host the website for your business and that could include anything that's authority site and and if you use pinterest correct you can drive traffic to it now there's tons of ways to make money online and again on my training there are there is even a course uh, that, that a video set of videos called popular ways to make money online and some of these are covered in there this site of mine is a membership website you've got to pay me 35 dollars a month to be long okay um there's membership sites there for a thousand dollars a month uh there's others that just teach you how to do wordpress for five dollars a month i don't know if they still exist right travel sites travel affiliate marketing fantastically huge all the popular blogging sites mommy blogs um how did to sort out things um printables they're all very very good things to 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 make money with if you make money on the other end okay others that will work okay so these are very popular by the way all the mommy related ones are popular because pinterest is is women related so it's a pretty cool thing that if you are female and you do have an interest in anything that that is theoretically called it it bothers me a little bit to call it that but need it be uh organizational type things where, where men are a little bit less inclined to want to be able to do whatever those there in fact even myself i'm not there so then magazine sites fashion sites um, celebs all of those will work now you might just be driving traffic to your site to earn money from google adsense from clicking the ads and if you are that's fine you just publish trillions of pins on pinterest and it'll work classifieds you would do 
pins for whoever's in your classifieds. Now be careful because classifieds is local and might not work for the overall. But if you were, let's say, a classified site and you were just um, a window supplier across the US of A, then you would state that on all your pins, USA suppliers only, small at the bottom, next to your logo. Uh, your your actual your logo sign would read that. And then your pictures would all be of windows and, 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 and whatever it is, sliding doors, etc. And when they get to it, they'll realize, oh, okay, um, find a, a supply near you. You know, which is better, wood or plastic? Which is that? Triple glazed, quadruple glazed. I don't know if there's such a thing. Directory website, software of a service. All of these do work. But you need to go back to my comment somewhere up the top here. Use your noggin. Make sure that your research, especially on Pinterest, but more importantly, on, on proper keyword research works. Okay. Now, Etsy and Shopify platforms, if you don't own your web, own website, still work. You can literally send them straight to your Etsy listing and straight to your Shopify. My only comment on these is take care. Oh, take such a huge amount of care. You don't own Etsy. You don't own Shopify. So they have got you there if you want to put it any a better way. And by the way, Squarespace, any of those, same problem. You are there at their sufferance, if that's a good way of putting it. If their opposition, if, if you do something, let's just say you get big and you're starting to strip other big websites, powerful people of their income because you, you, you're dominating the industry. They will go on to Shopify and look at your website until they find something you've done that's naughty. Then they promptly complain about you and literally have your account banned. It's happened. Um, Amazon can close you down. Etsy can close you down. YouTube can close you down. Probably Pinterest too, by the way. So take care. Be good. But remember that if you don't own the site, you need to be careful about um, this all your eggs in one basket thing. And Etsy at the moment, for example is running a test on if you get more than one percent of a one star rating and they can they can delete your account um, if you've only got a one star rating uh, over a period of time it's like whoa what per wow scary okay so what to do on pinterest go to pinterest to have a look but um you will see that pretty much a lot of the things especially through straight keyword research will work um and and if you do that i mean you know you, you can go and look but keyword research will will make a big difference for you uh i'm not sure if i if i do that but go if i've shown in if i'll be showing keyword research anywhere in this course i'm trying to cover all of this mileage that i put to all these words in a few short videos if possible which is hysterical because i know i can't but i don't want it to be a hundred videos so when it comes to keyword research just go across to my keyword research and look at some of the methods there. There are a few that are quick shortcut ones and the most obvious, in fact, let me show you the most obvious. You can stop this video if you've had enough. Let me open this, go across to Google. I have installed a plugin called, called, I have no clue what it's called. My brain's not working. It's the joy of fibromyalgia. So let me just go in here and, and put in a keyword that would work for me let's do fibro algia t-shirts let's do hoodies okay so now are people going to buy from fibro myalgia hoodies the google knows about them so google immediately puts up the paid for art these are all on google shopping good for google shopping these are all on google shopping i'm pretty certain oh, images maybe not Right now, here we go. This thing I said I'm part of is called Surfer. Um, it's free. It's a Chrome. Uh, what do they call these things? I'm going to tell you now. It's called a Chrome. Oh, my goodness. In my brain, work it could just be so simple. Extension. It's a Chrome extension. Now, watch this. In the US of A, for some reason, it's, it's splitting it for me. Fibromyalgia t-shirts, get some searches. Awareness t-shirt, 90. Awareness shirt, 70. There's enough numbers for me to do hoodies. Uh, these are shirts, but apparel, sweatshirts, they, they exist. 30 of them look it up in Canada per month. 
I'm not worried. It, it doesn't seem like a huge number below. It seems like a known number. It's not too bad. If I use the same lazy keyword tool shopping to see that it's real, I can go to shopping and have a look at how many of these are really hoodies. And you know what? Look at that. They all are. I don't look sick. You don't look stupid. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, let's go to images. You'll see hoodies all over the place. It tells you that people are making them. If they're making them, they probably will sell. Although I've yet to see a fibromyalgia t-shirt out there in the public. But I have seen the... <laughs> okay, now let's just try this. Let's just try fibromyalgia shower curtains. This is hysterical. You're going to print on demand for shower curtains, right? So now we get naught. Well, that's that'll teach me. They're here. But not many. It jumps to shop for Stephanie shower curtain rod. And it goes to banners fairly quickly. So, but, but why? Let me tell you why. Because I go back to all. And it tells you that. Give it a second. Nobody searches for it, I bet you. It doesn't even give me related keywords. Oh, so they're naught and naught. That's lovely to see. And so if I wanted to, and it's going to tell me where to get it at my local Walmart. That's cool. So a little bit of keyword research will say, wow, I'm onto something or not. Now let's pick something that's really huge. Um, start a mom blog. There's a couple of people. In fact, this is the one. Brilliant. Susie. Very, very, very good. Now, start a mom blog. Really? Well, this is hysterical. Nord searches. I think something's broken. Believe me, there's no Nord searches in that. Let me try and refresh. I tell you something. I'll pay for this. This is another version. This is keywords everywhere. Let me turn it on. It's a paid for one. It cost me a a, a dollar a year, a month or something. It's it's hardly. Uh, let's hit import keywords and see what happens. Oh. oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But let's just go back here. It's on. I'm going to refresh this, and it'll now give me different stats up here. So start a mom blog. Still comes up with naught. So, really, shall I call it a mommy blog? Perhaps one less M would be clever. Oh, shut up, Google. Google corrects me so often, I'm very embarrassed. There's Susie. Hi, Susie. Interesting. Now, Susie makes $30,000 a month. And by the looks of it, nobody searches for her. How to start a blog, yeah. Um... So I don't totally believe this because watch this. How to start a mom blog in 2020 gets 800 and... No, that's their traffic. So, okay. Let me turn this off and go away. But it does work. Um, keyword research. Once you've done that, because if you go back to this and you put this into... <laughs> Sorry, guys. You put this into Pinterest, you're going to get a ton of memes. Because, by the way, all these moms are sitting at home, don't want to go back to it, just had a baby. They think that because they've had a baby, they have to start a mom blog. But Pinterest keeps, there's a word, but keeps kind of growing the thought. And then it, they go from mom blogs to other, um, 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 they finally, the, I think Pinterest is bringing all of the mom bloggers into the real world where they know and do keyword research for, for, for other huge, huge things. 14 minutes, I'm done. Let me get out of here and we'll get on with the rest of this. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. I hope I've covered it all. Take care.